I sure have changed. I was 17 then and now I'm like 46. So yes, there has been a lot of change. And of course, audiences have changed over the decades. And um, what is constant, I would like to believe, is their love for me. And I can't um, um, pray for more because the kind of love and support and the unconditional love that I've received from them over the years, that has kept me going. So I thank my fans from the bottom of the heart to help me strive harder and um, help me to keep uh, bettering my skills. Yes, I think uh, also the responsibility lies on the audience. Uh, the more the audience will go and see these films, the more of these films will be made. Of course, like you know, uh, like from time immemorial, we've seen films that Nargis ji have done, you know, Madhubala ji and Nutan ji. You know, they've all done films which were always very much based from the woman's point of view. So it's not as if it's the first time that something like that is happening. It's been happening through the years, through the decades. But every decade there will come a time where people will um, prefer a certain kind of film for, it, for some time. But it's not as if that's the thing that keeps going on. So the audiences are eclectic. They, they like a different spread of uh, films and ideas and stories. And what I have seen with my experience is you give an audience a film with your heart and if you're true to the genre and the film, it works with an audience. So I think it's important to always um, choose a script. That's what I do because I can speak for myself. Um, I like to choose a script that resonates with me as a woman first, as an Indian woman, um, something that I can play and show to the world that what Indian women are all about. Also a film that inspires and is aspirational uh, because in our everyday lives, we need a story of a hero, you know, to inspire us and to feel good about ourselves. Because we also want to uh, better ourselves, you know, with each day. So, especially if I take Mrs. Chatterjee versus Norway, uh, for me as a mother, it was an eye-opener. Uh, for me as an Indian, it was an eye-opener to understand the plight of immigrant Indian women um, outside of India. You know, we don't get to hear such stories. Uh, we do hear of immigrant stories, but this really shook me because it was about bringing up your children. Um, and the question that was asked as to why an Indian woman can't raise her children the way she wants to was, was something that shook me. Uh, because we all women are the same when it comes to our children. We want the best for our children. And no mother in her right mind would do anything which would be detrimental to a child's growth. So for me, that was shocking. It was, a, it, it was an eye-opener, and I wanted the story to reach as many people. And today, the fact that Mrs. Chatterjee versus Norway is nominated, my character is nominated, speaks volumes of the fact that globally the film has been accepted, and people have uh, not only related with Debika's character, but they've also um, given so much love. You know, and that's why I'm here today. So, you know, Devika is very much like my mom. So I'm already imbibing qualities of my mom. <laughs> <laughs>